March 27, 2023. Caperoni. Three common dinar community comment dash Kuwait RV Thier dinar in 1992. Not true. Keep in mind there's a significant difference between Kuwait and Iraq. Kuwait has billions of dinar in circulation, Iraq has trillions. Militiamen. We're hearing there could very well be some repricing coming sometime in the next week or so or less. Repricing is important because it means they have a change coming. Let's see what happens in the next 24 and 28 hours. Everything we're seeing is phenomenal. They can't go back. They're gonna reprice at some point in time because they have to and I wouldn't be surprised if they are forced to talk about that very quickly. Marx. Via PDK, it appears that Iraq has fired the shot heard around the financial world. They are preparing to go solo. It appears that many other countries want to go with them? Member question, if the dinar and dong go separately, will they float? Mark's answer, yes if they go alone we expect them to float. I still think there is a 90% chance they go all at once, we are now seeing a very clear end coming, that is super exciting to me. Nader. I don't think it's gonna be one to one. I think it's gonna go, between $3.28 and $3.50 directly. After this rate 1132 it's gonna be big thing to happen. In our religion, Muslim, it's against our religion to make profits from banks and everybody can tell you that and it's in the Quran. When you put your money in a bank and that money makes babies you give it back to the bank or you give it to poor people. Iraqi Dinar Guru News Update March 27, 2023 Three days ago various news outlets from Iraq suggested that the exchange rate of the Iraqi Dinar has experienced a significant increase to its highest value in several years, at 1,132. Boots on the ground reports confirm the CBI and government officials made reference to this sudden change in value. However, it is important to note that despite these reports, the CBI has yet to officially change the rate of the dinar, which currently stands at 1,310. In the past, discrepancies of this nature typically clarified within 24 hours. However, as of now, no such clarity has been discovered. We encourage you to stay alert as we keep a close eye on this peculiar situation as we await the Guru's insights and updates on what the heck is going on here. Sandy Ingram Central bank sales exceeded 800 million last week based on the Middle East news feeds it is important, the total sales of the Central Bank of Iraq through the window of selling hard currency to the dollar during the past week amounted to more than $800 million. This news flash leads me to believe Iraq is becoming more and more like Panama each day, however Panama's currency is valued at 1 to 1 against the US dollar, is Iraq hanging on to the US dollar so tightly because the foundation of their wealth is in US dollars? Meaning the oil revenue? This is a massive amount of exchange for the US dollar in one week. Breitling. Iraq's new strategy is, very simple. How do they expand their customer base? Right now they want to accept other currencies, it's very very good news. Frank 26. Question, if we no longer have receipts or if we want to give some away do we need a receipt? If you don't have a receipt that could be a problem for you. Not when you go to exchange but when you pay your taxes. You'll want to prove to the government you held your currency for at least one year in the sense of capital gains taxes. You see what Biden wants to do, charge everyone up to 39% for everyone to make a certain amount of money. That's wicked. Iraq Boots on the Ground Report, Firefly, my bank friend from First Bank of Iraq has new global money transfers. He said this system just started. This screams international. Frank, that's awesome. Yes it does. The world is pouring into Iraq because of the monetary reform that is exploding the economic reform. The only reason why the economic reform has been so successful is because they know very well what is happening with the budget of Iraq and they know how it is being funded and they know what's backing it. Marx Sunday Evening News with Marx March 26, 2023 Some highlights by PDK not verbatim Marx Disclaimer Please consider everything on this call as my opinion. People who take notes do not catch everything and it's best to watch the video so that you get everything in context. Be sure to consult a professional for any financial decisions Ms. Hello everyone, I made IT back in one piece. Mark had been traveling, Ms. 
It was important to get back with you guys and share where we think we are. Member, Kenyan president tells his people to get rid of dollars because market will change in a couple weeks. MZ, yes this is indeed true. He told his people to get rid of their dollars, that the world is changing in a couple of weeks. This is going on all over the world. Member, I hear Iraq's ready. Ms, yes they are. Ms, Nader had a good video. Late it's in 27 days celebrate with us the belief in Iraq is at some point before the end. Before Eid al-Fitir, Ramadan is about 27 days. And, many Iraqi contacts over there are telling him that this is when they the rate change. Nader thinks it will be between a buck and a buck dot 30. Thank you Nader. You have everyone excited. Ms. I was told between $1.61 and $1.68. And we won't know for certain which one until we get there. They know it's going to float to that dollar three plus range. Ms. I was told it was announced and they have let the world know that they are moving forward. With or without the entire world reset. And I was told they are going to go towards the end of Ramadan. Ms. I was told by one of my major banking contacts that they are going to offer you a multi-currency account when you exchange. If they go solo. MZ, I've been told there are two possibilities here. Iraq says they are going alone and done waiting for the worldwide shenanigans. And there is a hard push to get it out the doors in the next few days. The comforting part is we can now see the end. Ms, I think this is amazing news and hope you guys see it that way. I believe this will give us tremendous possibilities. Member, Ramadan ends the evening of April 20th. CBD gurus join the stream toward the end. Please listen to the replay for their information. Note from PDK, please listen to the replay for all the details and entire stream. I do not transcribe political opinions, medical opinions or many guests on this stream, just RV slash currency related topics. Mark's daily links, https colon slash slash the original marks com slash home slash mod marks back to basics pre-recorded call for newbies october 19th 2022 https colon slash slash www youtube com slash watch v equals 37 oil mal pay thank you all for joining have a blessed night see you all in the morning for coffee at 10 a.m est unless breaking news happens Bomb Ladies Corner. Iraqi News Highlights Sunday afternoon March 26, 2023 TLM 724 Administrator Bomb Ladies Corner The World Bank confirms its full commitment to provide support and assistance to automate public financial management in Iraq economy Vertical Bar 522 to March 26, 2023 Baghdad, Mawazine News Today, Sunday. The World Bank affirmed its full commitment to providing support and assistance to automate public financial management in Iraq. The media department of the House of Representatives said in a statement, a copy of which Mawazine News received, that the Finance Committee, headed by Rep. Atwan al-Athwani and in the presence of a number of its members, hosted a World Bank delegation to follow up on loans for projects funded by the bank within the Federal General Budget Law for the year 2023, and the mechanism automation of the country's financial system. And she added, the committee welcomed at the outset of hosting the World Bank delegation in the Parliament Building, appreciating the role of the World Bank in supporting the Iraqi government to finance the expenditure sections with the necessary loans to implement projects according to spending units, and joint cooperation between the two sides. And she continued. The Finance Committee discussed finding appropriate solutions to implement the projects that were signed with the World Bank and how to finance spending units, in addition to reviewing to expedite the implementation of projects throughout Iraq, as well as the need to maximize revenues by switching from the paper system to the electronic system. And she indicated that the committee listened to a delegation from the World Bank regarding its visit to the Ministry of Finance related to financing projects for spending units and dispersing loans in this regard, as well as briefing it on the vision of the Ministry of Finance on completing the points agreed upon in accordance with the new vision of the Ministry, as the delegation indicated that there is the appropriate ground to achieve implementation steps. Projects stressing his full commitment to provide support and assistance to automate public financial management in Iraq and achieve progress. And she added, the committee discussed with the World Bank the possibility of benefiting by providing assistance in preparing an integrated financial system project, IFMS, 
presenting a complete budget and preparing final accounts reports for the draft budget. At the end of the meeting, the committee affirmed its aspiration to shift from the paper system to the electronic system to make progress in modern financial transactions and to prepare an integrated project in this regard. A slight rise in the exchange rates of the dollar in Baghdad with the closing of the stock exchange economy Sunday, March 26, 2023, 4.21 p.m. Baghdad, the National News Center the exchange rates of the dollar rose against the Iraqi dinar, this evening, Sunday, with the closure of the main stock exchange in Baghdad. The correspondent of the National News Center said, the central Kifa stock exchange in Baghdad closed this evening at an exchange rate of 154,450 dinars against $100, while the prices this morning were 154,200 dinars. He added, the buying and selling prices in exchange shops in the local markets in Baghdad rose, as the selling price reached 155,500 dinars, while the purchase prices reached 153,500 dinars for every $100. Iraq's oil exports to America have declined by more than half Sunday, March 26, 2023 8.52 a.m. Follow-up, National News Center The U.S. Energy Information Administration announced today, Sunday, that Iraq's oil exports to America decreased by more than half during the past week. The administration said in a report seen by the National News Center, the average U.S. imports of crude oil during the past week from seven countries amounted to 5.423 million barrels per day, slightly down by 4,000 barrels per day from the previous week, which amounted to 5.423 million barrels per day. She added, Iraq's oil exports to America amounted to an average of 144,000 barrels per day last week, down by 202,000 barrels as a daily average from the previous week, in which oil exports to America reached an average of 346,000 barrels per day. She pointed out that most of America's oil revenues during the past week came from Canada at an average of 3.240 million barrels per day, followed by Mexico at an average of 1.118 million barrels per day, and oil revenues from Saudi Arabia amounted to an average of 483,000 barrels per day, and then Colombia at an average of 244,000 barrels per day. According to the administration, the amount of U.S. imports of crude oil from Nigeria amounted to an average of 129,000 barrels per day, and from Brazil an average of 69,000 barrels per day, while it did not import any amount from Russia, Libya or Ecuador. HTTPS colon slash slash com slash 195819 slash parliament is discussing with the World Bank the financing of projects and the shift towards the electronic system in financial transactions money and business economy news. Baghdad on Sunday, the Finance Committee in the House of Representatives hosted a delegation from the World Bank to follow up on loans for projects financed by the bank within the federal budget law for the year 2023 and the mechanism for automating the financial system in the country. The Finance Committee discussed ways to find appropriate solutions to implement the projects that were signed with the World Bank and how to finance the spending units, in addition to reviewing the implementation of projects in Iraq and accelerating their pace, as well as the need to maximize revenues by switching from the paper system to the electronic system. According to the information of the House of Representatives, the committee listened to a delegation from the World Bank regarding its visit to the Ministry of Finance related to financing projects for spending units and dispersing loans in connection with them, as well as briefing them on the vision of the Ministry of Finance on completing the points agreed upon in accordance with the new vision of the ministry, as the delegation indicated that there is the appropriate ground to achieve the steps to implement projects, stressing full commitment to provide support and assistance to automate public financial management in Iraq and achieve progress. The committee discussed with the World Bank the possibility of benefiting by providing assistance in preparing an integrated financial system project, IFMS, presenting a complete budget and preparing final accounts reports for the draft budget. At the end of the meeting, the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed its aspiration for the shift from the paper system to the electronic system to make progress in modern financial transactions and to prepare an integrated project in this regard. Oil reveals Iraq's revenues within a month. Baghdad, Mawazin News The Ministry of Oil announced today, Sunday, that last month's revenues amounted to more than $7 billion. The ministry said in a statement, a copy of which Mawazin News received, that the final statistics of the total oil exports for the month of February, issued by the Iraqi oil marketing company, SOMO, amounted to, 92, 
million, 255, thousand and, 610, barrels, with revenues amounting to, 7, billion and, 62, million and, 704, thousand dollars. And she added, the total quantities exported of crude oil for the month of February from the oil fields in central and southern Iraq amounted to, 89, million, 140, thousand and, 448, barrels, while the quantities exported from Kirkuk oil through the port of Jehan were, 2, million and, 2, million, 834, thousand and, 393, barrels, explaining that the average price of one barrel amounted to, 76,556, dollars. It stated that the exported quantities have been loaded by, 35, international companies of several nationalities, from the ports of Basra, Khor al-Zubair, Mono buoys on the Gulf and the Turkish port of Jehan. It is noteworthy that the Ministry of Oil, through its belief in informing the people of export operations and the revenues generated from them, took this monthly measure. Radi signs a joint cooperation agreement with the World Food Programme to automate the ration card system. Baghdad, Mawazin News Today, Sunday, the Ministry of Commerce signed a joint cooperation agreement with the World Food Programme to automate the ration card system. The ministry said in a statement, a copy of which was received by Mawazine News, that Minister of Commerce Athir Daoud al Guerreri signed, today, Sunday, a joint cooperation agreement for the electronic ration card system project with the director of the World Food Programme in Iraq of the United Nations, Ali Rada Qureshi. The statement continued, the joint cooperation agreement signed between the ministry and the World Food Programme provided for access to a comprehensive, renewable and digitally integrated distribution system, the aim of which is to automate all procedures and reach the real numbers of beneficiaries of the ration card system to achieve food security by targeting the eligible groups. Al Ghareri confirmed, according to the statement, that the partnership agreement achieved success, as the Ministry of Commerce worked with the World Food Programme to implement the digital automation of the ration card system in the holy city of Najaf and the factory supply center in Sadr City as a first stage according to a timeline while working on a plan to start applying it in the rest of the country. The governorates, in implementation of the government program, because this strategic project represents the importance of the country's economy, with the aim of reaching the real numbers of beneficiaries. He pointed out, the joint cooperation with the food program contributed to providing logistical and technical support in the field of building the capacities of the Ministry of Commerce's employees, providing equipment and rehabilitating the infrastructure for the supply branches to start automating the ration card in Iraq. And he indicated, the two sides agreed during the signing of the partnership agreement that it will be a testament to the will and determination of both parties in their endeavor aimed at providing the best in correcting the project towards the deserving groups in Iraq, pointing out that the signing of the agreement was attended by the Undersecretary for Administrative Affairs, Satar al-Jabri, and the Director General of the Planning and Follow-up Department, Ibti Hall. Hashem Sabay, Director General of the Legal Department, Farah Hikmat, and the technical team from both sides. The Minister of Oil is discussing with the region's delegation the decision of the International Arbitration Tribunal Economy Vertical Bar 348 to March 26, 2023 Baghdad. Mawazin News Oil Minister Hayan Abdulghani chaired today, Sunday, a meeting with the delegation of the Kurdistan region, after the decision of the International Tribunal. The Ministry of Oil said in a statement, which Mawazin News received, a copy of, that Deputy Prime Minister for Energy Affairs and Minister of Oil Hayan Abdulghani held a meeting with the region's delegation, which included the Minister of Natural Resources, Agency Kamal Mohammed, the head of the Regional Cabinet Office, Omid Sabah, and the head of the government representative. The region in Baghdad, Fares Issa, Guidance and warning March 26, 2023 The Central Bank of Iraq would like to inform the electronic payment companies slash those who obtained the need to direct and warn all their agents slash ports for cash withdrawal and directly not to use, POC, devices outside Iraq, and to take the necessary measures by them to obtain a written pledge within a maximum period of 20 slash 5 slash 1, and otherwise it will bear the company the violator's agent slash the violator as all legal consequences, and their companies must follow up investigate and set the crisis policies in a manner that ensures that these devices are not operated outside Iraq. Pull leave and stop activity March 26, 2023. 
The Board of Directors of the Central Bank of Iraq decides to withdraw one bank leave and three exchange companies, and to stop the activity of a number of others due to violations.